doing guys Zane's every box and those that you back when another video and in this video I'd like to give you the breaking news mm -hmm. about Amir King Khan Amir Khan I did mention a few few weeks ago in my video my post fight review Terence Crawford versus Amir Khan after the fight I said Amir Khan should maybe think about retirement now you know or give us the Kell Brook fight which was well overdue for years now you know and just retire but you know what he's looking to make more money which is in my opinion not a bad thing you know because anything's better than making easy money and he's chosen a route which is like sort of like the Mayweather route where he's fighting MMA fighters you know so um, he's fighting again he's fighting again in July 12th against an opponent which is not a credible opponent, you know, it's just a money-making opponent, you know, and he's fighting a guy called Niraj Goya. Niraj Goya is used to be an MMA fighter, you know, which turned into, who turned into a boxer, got a record of 13 and 2 um, so far in his career, in his boxing career, but he's faced bombs in my opinion, and he's got nothing in the ring to do with Amir Khan you know um, Miraj Goya has lost to fighters that were on their debut you know boxing debuts you know so this is a fight which has got no sort of relevance behind it you know it's just a money making fight um, one interesting thing about this fight is it will make money the reason why is because of the two nationalities so Amir Khan for example he's from Pakistan Niraj Goya is from India so you've got two huge fan bases on the Indian side and the Pakistani side India and Pakistan have that sort of rivalry in sports and against their own people I don't know why that is you know I don't know why they don't get along but you know as the Indians would like to say there might be chapatis thrown or as the as the Pakistanis say, there might be like the remote control, you know, on the red dot and that. So you know, that there there's a bit of like controversy and sort of you know battle back and back and forth going between India and Pakistan. So they've sort of built this fight up to be something like that, which is a rivalry between the two countries. And that's where the money lies in, you know, the fact that these two sort of countries would like to see this fight happen but you know at the end of the day this ain't a great fight in my opinion it's just a money grab as I mentioned uh, so Amir Khan's reportedly gonna get six million for this fight this fight is taking place in Saudi Arabia you know uh, the Mecca of uh, in Mecca uh, in Jeddah sorry my bad um, so this is a money sort of grab from Amir Khan. Um, as a boxing fan, I don't approve of this fight. I don't think this is a great fight. You know, really and truly, you should think about retiring. Retiring. You know. Um, but why not? I can see the fact that why he wants to make more easy money in fights like this. You know, he's sort of following what Mayweather is doing in his footsteps, which is coming back and fighting MMA fighters. You know, the same thing what happened with. Um, Floyd fighting Conor McGregor, you know. So I just like to put it out there that I'm not interested in this fight. This is a bullshit fight, in my opinion. It's just between the rivalry, you know, the fake rivalry. And I can tell you now, Amir Khan will probably win that fight. And I'll laugh. But the thing, the thing that'll make me laugh is if he gets chinned in this fight and is, he starts doing the dance. That would just make me laugh, to be honest. It would be so hilarious to see him get knocked out by a fighter of the of the of the ability of Niraj Goya, which which the fighter lost against like two debut fighters that were just making their boxing debuts. It's just really sad to see, you know. I did say that I did want to see the Kell Brook fight, but now I don't really even want to see it in, anymore, you know. So July the twelfth is going down. Uh, Amir Khan versus Niraj Goya. What a joke fight. And I'm, I'm not going to give a prediction video because it's pointless, you know. 
it's kind of pointless prediction. So, you know, those are my thoughts on the fight, you know. Zane's heavy boxing dosage. Until the next video, I'm out.